One in eight women will experience breast cancer. My grandmother actually has the BRCA1 gene, which makes you more likely to have breast cancer. Raising over $143,000 for a cause like breast cancer is really, really special. $143,000, that's a lot of money. But Sydney and Zeta Tau Alpha's large contribution to breast cancer awareness and education is only a fraction of the money Clemson Panhellenic raises every year. Each of our member organizations has a national philanthropy that they all support. Last year in 2023, we raised over $900,000. How do 13 sororities raise hundreds of thousands of dollars every year as college students? Well, for students in Clemson Panhellenic, their commitment to philanthropy begins with their Clemson experience. Any girl that's gone through Rush will tell you, nerves are high. First round in person is philanthropy round. I have wanted to be a pediatrician since the third grade. Tried out to philanthropy at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I remember sitting down and seeing that it was St. Jude. This is hopefully what I'll get because then I can be an asset. Being able to have a direct touch point to the best children's research hospital in the country is so important and something so special that we get to be able to do. My grandma and my aunt are breast cancer survivors. When I learned our philanthropy in Zeta is breast cancer education and awareness was just a, another deciding factor for me. It was the stories that the Zeta shared and the passion that they had and the money that they raised that really drew me into Zeta. After potential new members become sisters, students like Parker, Elizabeth, Grace, and Sydney can organize events to generate donations for their chapter's philanthropies. For the sisters of the Zeta Tau Alpha sorority, the It's a fraternity, actually. Like, we are a sorority, but it's called the Zeta Fraternity, so if you hear me referring to that, that's what it is. Oh, okay. Sorry. For the sisters of the Zeta Tau Alpha fraternity, the big fundraiser they throw every fall for breast cancer awareness and education is Big Man on Campus. Big Man on Campus is basically an all-male pageant. This year we had 32 contestants representing 32 different student organizations. It gets a lot of our Clemson community involved. A lot of fraternities will put up a member that gets to participate, as well as some other student organizations. So all the contestants, once they're all chosen, they each have the ability to fundraise throughout the entire time guys get eliminated if they don't fundraise enough. Ultimately, from 32 contestants, it shrinks down to about 20 that are actually competing in the pageant. At the actual event itself, there's gonna be an opening dance number that all the boys do together. And then we're introduced to our judges. Judges are typically all breast cancer survivors. Someone in our chapter might know, like a mom or a grandmother. And they are also judging all the guys on their talents, on their ability to answer questions. The amount of money that they raise, and that can play a big factor. There's a lot of musical performances. Our winner this year performs something in the orange while playing the guitar. They have a questioning portion and they also dress all nice for us. And then at the end, the winner is announced. Consistently, this event has always raised at least $70,000, but this past year, we were so lucky to have raised over $140,000, which was so awesome and that's the most that we've ever raised. Big Man on Campus raised over $140,000 by entertaining and involving Clemson's student body and local community. Many other events, such as Kappa Delta's 5K and Pi Phi Pazuki, use the same strategy. But Tri Delta's Sincerely Yours letter writing for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital reaches out to the Clemson family outside of Tigertown. This year we sent about 20,000 letters out. All of our girls have to have at least 50 addresses. 50 close family members, friends, family friends, any addresses you can scrounge up to potentially donate to St. Jude's. That one's a really awesome way that gets the members, friends, families, and a lot alumni involved with that, that they're able to kind of connect with them again and help get them engaged to support the chapter, but also St. Jude as an organization. At the letter writing event is when all the fun is. So we all get together, we put on our stamps and we decorate the letters. We individually sign each and every paper. So like when I'm writing it to my grandma, I'll write like Mimi from Lizzie. So she knows it's really from me and not just like an automated message, which I think helps make us so effective. This year we even included bookmarks to honor one of our members who was a patient at St. Jude. A year ago, we lost one of our sisters who was also a patient at St. Jude, Elizabeth Williams. That has definitely been very hard for a lot of girls in our chapter. She was my homemate. Um, 
someone who I would see almost every day. She was an artist and she actually loved to paint at St. Jude because it helped her neuropathy through treatment. We made bookmarks with all of her artwork and put those into our letters. Usually we raise around like $100,000 just from letter writing, but last year we raised over $165,000. Just being able to honor her and know that like we are fighting for people like her and to continue to honor her um, by giving back to them, I think makes it all more worthwhile. Elizabeth Williams' time with Tri-Delta gave her sisters a personal connection to St. Jude, growing their understanding of who benefits from the $165,000 they raised. This growth, professionally and personally, is ultimately how college students are able to raise over $900,000 for philanthropy. We're really working with students who sometimes are holding a position for the first time in their lives. Planning any event takes a lot of planning. It can be difficult, but when it's also a fundraiser, it also just adds another layer onto it. Getting the venue, getting vendors there during the whole event before, after, set up. I have a lot on my plate and I was very nervous about the time commitment. I meet with them to support them as they plan these events. The fact that somebody in their college experience is learning how to navigate an insurance contract and a liability waiver, what they're doing right now. Yes, it raises money for this really, really awesome organization, but how do you utilize that to market yourself as you leave Clemson and you're going on to get a job and start your career, which is really what we want you to do when you come to college. After working with St. Jude and just seeing the impact they have on their families, I've kind of shifted my focus to pediatric oncology. Every single time we have a philanthropy event, I learn something new. As a woman who has the ability to get breast cancer, you know, it's, it's a scary thing. I think that it's super empowering for us to be able to meet strong women who've gone through battling cancer. In high school, I was definitely a little bit shy and scared of things that would bring me out of my comfort zone, but being in Zeta has definitely brought me out of my shell. You should never be afraid of taking on new leadership roles because there's growth in every situation. Just being a part of planning big men on campus has been the highlight of my whole college experience. The growth gained running philanthropy events is just one way Clemson provides the number one student experience. If you'd like to learn about other Clemson stories, Consider subscribing to Clemson Student Affairs or build your own experience by attending and supporting philanthropy events. Come graduation, I definitely will be reflecting not only on my experience here at Clemson, but also thanking Tri-Delta for molding me as a person. I'm forever grateful and forever loyal to Zeta and to Clemson. Go, Go Tigers! Tigers.